All right, so you know that I like to make my own jewelry displays. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these two paintings. Have you ever done those paint and pour or the wine and paint nights? Well, these are two paintings from a couple of years ago. I'm not going to put these on my walls. Sunsets seem to be a popular theme for these type of things. So I have these two paintings and I have a jewelry show coming up, craft show, next month. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these. Just to give you an idea of something else I did, I took a towel rack and I converted it into a jewelry display. So I just painted it. I added string, with some zip ties, necklaces, hanging it up on this side. And then again, some overflow. And as like people you start selling, I always take take this stuff off and I'll I'll put it around on the front. Or say I don't have a big space. This really helps to hold a lot of product. And yeah, and then this, it's just some cardboard paper. And you can lift it up. But I put it in the middle because I like it to um if you have anything behind it that's distracting, people don't pay attention to the jewelry. And then I just get some clip-on lights from Ikea. And I put them here in the lights. They're battery operated. But next month, I'll actually do a full video of the fair when I'm there. Okay, okay, back to these, these paintings here. Let's go ahead and convert them into jewelry displays. Okay guys, so here is stage two. You can see I had some of this fabric. I can't remember from what leftover, so it's lacy. I like it, it's purple, but it's not going to work for what I need. But, I mean, it works for what I need, but it's not the right color scheme. So, I need to have everything white. You want your, your jewelry displays to have a plain color, so your jewelry is the point of focus, not the background. So, I've taken and just stapled the fabric onto the canvas. There's one side, you can see the back here. And I honestly just used my stapler that I have for my office. And that's what it looks like. So, and then I just cut the edges down, made sure I reinforced the corners. And now the next stage is we're going to go ahead and paint it, and we're going to paint it white. And I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. I'm just using a regular semi gloss paint that I got at Home Depot. You can use whatever you want. Don't use spray paint because you need a brush and you want to soak in here. But the whole purpose of using this lacy fabric is to add a nice texture, but still keep a plain background. All right, I'll go paint them and I'll show you what they look like afterwards. Hey guys, so it's the next day and you can see what they look like after they're painted. Really nice. See that pattern in there from the lace, but yet subtle enough that it won't distract from the jewelry settings. Now the final thing I have to do, you can still see the purple on the back, I just painted just up to where people can see. And then I'm just going to put two pieces of doweling on the top, just on one side, so it gives it a slight tilt when there's a display. And we'll be finished. And if you're wondering what type of paint I use, I use this guy right here. I can focus. Come on. Eat. Anyways. Who is this by? It's Rust Oleum Painter's Touch, Ultra Cover, Semi White Gloss, and it's supposed to cover rust and stuff. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. <laughs> Focus. So, anyways, yeah. So, that is the paint that I used on this. I use it for all my crafting projects. This little jar right here is $3. You can get like a larger like size for $8 in California. So, it's not bad. Um, and the secret when I paint it, I just pour it on into the fabric instead of just like doing it with a brush. I pour it on, then I use the brush because it takes a lot of paint to soak up into that fabric. So yeah, almost done, and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, guys, so they are all finished. Um, so as you can see, I glued some doweling on the back here, and this is actually doweling that I took off from this jewelry display that I made, some extra pieces. And I use the dowling on just one side on the back because it's gonna give it a little bit of a lift. So when you display the jewelry, 
Um, this is my bed, so it doesn't quite show it very well, but it gives it a little bit of a lean, so the necklaces will just fall down, and you don't have to worry about it. And um, another thing about this, by having this little bit of texture, it makes it so the necklaces don't slide off. They kind of cling a little bit, which I like. So the um, the glue that I use for the dowling is this. It's just called Gorilla Glue. It's a wood glue. I use it quite a bit. And really, I had all of this stuff in my house already, so I just made two great displays. I can probably put about, gosh, 10 necklaces on each one, and um, it didn't cost me anything. It just makes my booth look a little bit different than what people have. So next month, April 13th, 14th, when I'm at the Pinners Conference, I will take a video of what my booth setup looks like, just so you can see kind of all the things I've been talking about in my past videos. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you found them useful um, for making some homemade craft jewelry displays. Alright, thanks so much guys. Bye!